coverage tonight, former Dallas Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo opening up for the first time since announcing his new role in the broadcast booth. Our Jeff Paul joining us live in Dallas with why Romo isn't using the word retire. Jeff? Well, Doug, Tony Romo isn't using the R word, but says his days out here on the football field are over. He tells us tonight that he is committed to making a transition to in front of the camera and says he's going to train to keep his starting role. We are now going to be joined by Tony Romo. We know where he's going, but we finally know why. I literally had the opportunity to continue to keep playing football. I'm choosing not to. Family and ongoing injuries were a factor, but Tony Romo says he also couldn't pass up on the opportunity in the broadcast booth. It just started to, to feel right going to CBS, and I just uh, felt the connection there. Romo spoke about his decision to step away from the gridiron on CBS's 105.3 The Fan on the Ben and Skin Show. But I haven't heard the R word, and I'm kind of glad because I, I think Cowboys fans will kind of think, hey, in the back of their mind, if, if the Cowboys end up needing a quarterback or every NFL fan, could you talk Tony Romo out of the booth? It just feels like you're done playing football. It's, you want to call it retired, you want to call whatever you want, I'm, I'm moving on to talking about it. I just don't envision that ever changing. Romo says one of the hardest parts trying to explain it to his kids. I just don't understand why you're not going to play anymore. And, and so he tries to explain it. And then finally he's like, wait, I thought you meant you're not going to be able to play football in the backyard with me anymore. Oh. <laughs> Romo says, much like he studied film and great quarterbacks, he'll do the same as he suits up for TV. Now, Romo will be the number one color commentator right next to Jim Nance. He says that he feels like he's going from one legendary team to another. Reporting live here in Dallas, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News. All right, Jeff, thank you.